Hi, I'm Lisa Mervin, and today I'm going to be giving you the new CCRA Tech Impact, and it's going to be on Windows and Windows shortcuts and some things that will make your everyday working just a little bit easier. The first thing I'd like to go over with you is there's some things on your desktop that you can do. Right-clicking has quite a few things that you can get to on just about any program, so if you're not using the right-click, there are, I'd like you to at least try to do that. If you look down here, there are things that you can press a new, you can have a new folder, if you wanted to make a new folder on your desktop, if you wanted to create a shortcut, or going into documents. It just depends on what you're um, wanting to do. You can also change your desktop by how you sort. You can sort by the name or size. You can also personalize. If you look down here at the bottom, you can personalize something and say you want to change your backdrop to some other characters or keep it with Windows 7. It just changes everything the way you'd like to do it. Or you can go back to the unsaved theme. You can also click on some, click something once and right click and there are quite a few things here that you can do with it. You can send this to your documents, you can send it to a compressed folder, you can copy and cut here, you can delete it, you can rename, I use this a lot. If I want to rename something I just click on that and it lets you rename the folder. Very, very simple. You can also use your change your screen resolution if you want it bigger or smaller it'll go bigger and smaller something else I'd like to show you is something called snap 2 and I do this in just about every computer that I get a hold of if somebody asks me to help them I always see if they have this in their mouse options and I'm going to open up a catalyst file here and I'm going to show you different ways when you make a change and you go to file and close I'm just I'm I have a shortcut for this but I'm showing you this the long way so that you can see what I'm doing if I hit close you see a box that pops up and you have to move your mouse over to wherever that is and if you use something called snap to it changes where you're going to have your mouse so let's cancel out of that what I'd like you to do is go and you would open, go over here to your start menu, and go to your control panel, and we're going to change your mouse options. If you can't find it in here, you always just type it right up here and type mouse options. And look, it popped up the mouse. You can have mouse, um, we can also do mouse pointer options, and it'll take you exactly right where you want to be. Change the mouse pointer. Here we go, mouse settings. You just anywhere in here, it'll take you right to where you need to go. Change mouse settings. Look right there where it says pointer options. You click on that. And right here, there's a thing called snap to. It says automatically move your pointer to the default button in a dialog box. So I'm going to click that. That's all you have to do. Go in there and click that and tell it apply. Now I'm going to go back into that file, and this works on all your programs in Windows, not just this one file, but I wanted to show you how it affects how, what you do each day. If I'm going to make a file, close, now look where my mouse is. It jumped right to the default, which was yes. So then you don't have to move your mouse all over. It's one step that you can completely go out of it. It works in Microsoft Word. It works in all kinds of programs. So that's the first thing I would have you do whenever you get your computer in front of me. That's the first thing I'm going to, going to do. Okay, let me show you. Let me close all these out here. And I'm going to show you a couple things that... I use a lot and I know that a lot of people are afraid to do it but I use the help an awful lot and the help is the F1 key if you just press the F1 key on your on your computer or you can click right here and there's always help right inside here you can put all kinds of things in here see where it says help and support just click that and up pops the help button I have people call me and say, I, I can't figure out how to change my resolution. 
Well, I might not know the answer to that, but this is how I find the answer. I just clip on Windows Help and Support, and I would put in change, res uh, change, oops, sorry, change resolution. And my keys are off here. And it'll pop up what it, what it thinks you're wanting, and it takes you right to it. Change your screen resolution. Boom. Tells you exactly how to do it. I could have put this mouse pointer options. And it takes you right to it. Click on there, boom, you've got your mouse pointer options. So use your help. It's, it'll save you lots and lots of time. Another thing you can do, I'm going to show you how to go into the keyboard here. There's something called the Windows key. And I know you can't really see it, but it's next to the control function. And there's a little window key that most people don't even understand what that key is for. It's kind of an odd shape. It looks like the Windows logo. There are some shortcuts that you can use using that, that Windows key. The first one that I'd like to show you is um, switching between tabs of things that are open. So if I have these things, here's a couple things I have open. You can, if you hit that Windows key, I'm sorry, Alt and Tab, it cycles through what you have open. See how I can just, I'm just hitting the Alt tab right now, going through what's open on my computer. If I decide I want that one, I let it go, and there it pops right up. Now the next thing is, you can use that Windows key. You can restore a window or make a window, window smaller or bigger. So hit that Windows key and hit the up arrow, and look what happened. It maximized the whole screen. Now usually I would just go up and use my mouse and try to, try to point that up. But I find that I use the keyboard an awful lot. I'm not a mouse learner, as, as I call it. Some people learn with the mouse, and they do as much as they can with the mouse. And I personally use as many keystrokes as I can because my hands are usually on the keys. So I use that quite a bit. You can do um, Alt Down. Or, I'm sorry, Windows Key Down, and look, it made it smaller. You can do Windows Key Up, and it does it bigger again. There's another thing you can use right here. You can use that Windows key. Again, you press that and use the plus sign. You can make them bigger. See how much bigger it went? And here's plus the Windows key with the minus, and it makes it smaller. Very, very easy to do. Now here's something that I would like to see more people use because I see this all the time. They're not uh, locking their computers when they're walking away, like when the attorneys are there during lunch and they, they leave their computers there, they just leave them wide open for anybody to come and sit down. And, and I don't like people uh, touching my computer, I don't know about you, but they're a very, very simple thing as you do the Alt and the, and the L and it will lock your computer completely. I use this one a lot. It's the Windows key and the E. And see what happens. It brings up your computer's explorer. So I'm, if you need to look to see something in one of your disk drives, whatever, it will bring it right up. So you, you can have that. Something else that I like to use is the, um, the control escape will take you to the start menu. So if you do control and escape, it brings up your whole start menu. So you can you can get to that right there. Those were the things I wanted to share with you today and I'm hoping to have more of these so that if you would send me what you'd like to see and like what you'd like to learn about, that would help us so we can find out what it is you'd like to learn and we'll try to do these little short little snippets and have it be something that you actually like to hear about. Thank you.